Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Tits of Egypt and in today's video, I will show you the runes, the builds of the new monster mage. This is Coco. She is a attack monster and I will rune her and I will show you the builds and discuss to you guys which route you should uh build her so that we will see if she is really worth getting or pulling off out of your summon so without further ado guys let's get into the video So guys, before we go on to the video, please do hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow. If we get 100 subscribers, then we will do another summoning video for Summoner's War. And yeah, this is Coco guys, the new Fire Mage unit in Summoner's War. And I did pull her in my uh, stream. I think last two days ago or last last yesterday I think yeah I did pull her and it's really hard to pull a new monster guys so she is an attack monster and her skills are really good I think he ha she has a single damage attack so now let's go on her skill and see her arsenal in the game. So first, the magical eye attacks the enemy two times and decreases the attack power for two turns with a 35% chance with each attack. So this is actually a, an upgrade from Fran's abilities because Fran also have a, her first skill dealing three attacks while uh, putting 20% chance of attack decrease. So, I think this is an upgrade because of the 35% chance is really good. This is good in RTA and also in Arena because you are uh, giving attack power decrease on the enemy and also in bosses and dungeons because this is a debuff. So, let's go on her second skill. Her second skill, Nightcrow, Crow, attacks the enemy three times and leaves a branding effect for two turns with a 75% chance each. The cooldown time of Chaos Magic Circle will be decreased by one turn each whenever you attack the target under harmful effects. So, the 75% chance is really high, guys. And the three attacks will give you 75% chance each. So, if you don't know about the branding effect, the branding effect, if the opponent or enemy has that debuff, then uh, whenever he or she is attacked, uh, you will deal a lot of damage because of the branding effect debuff. So, that's how branding effects work. And another uh, uh, ability for her second skill is... Uh, in conjunction with her third skill, Chaos Magic Circle, this is it, the Chaos Magic Circle, will be decreased by one turn each whenever you attack the target under harmful effects. So, in combination with monsters that gives uh, harmful effects, like Loren, which gives, I think, three uh, debuffs on the enemy and also the Fire uh, Panda, Xiongfei, gives uh, different harmful effects on the enemy. When she uses her second skill on that uh, enemy with debuffs, uh, the Chaos Magic Circle will decrease its cooldown by 1 uh, for each of the harmful effects in the enemy. So, it is good for you to use Coco with a team that has sev gives several debuffs on the enemy. That's why I think the oracles uh, will benefit 
Coco will, Coco will benefit from the Oracle's ability, her second skill, which gives a uh, number of debuffs according to the number of buffs or yeah, the number of buffs from the enemy. So that's how good is her second skill in conjunction with her third skill because her third skill, let's now go on this one, the Chaos Magic Circle summons five spears which each can inflict damage equal to 150% of your attack power. So she must be rune with attack percentage so that he can give gives a huge amount of attack or great damage in the enemy. If you get attack from an enemy while you still have magic spears, uses one magic spear to counter attack and increases your attack bar by 25%. So this is good because it is like a iron dome, guys. If you know that what I am telling you about, it's like an iron dome. When you get attack, she will attack you back with using one spear, and this is automatic, guys. There is no chance that you will not attack back. It will counter attack and increases your attack bar by 25%. So, uh, I think this skill is not that good, but when he uses her second skill it is really good this is this third skill of her is just a preparation for her second skill because when she uses her second skill you are hitting the opponent eight times if you didn't miss any of your or if you didn't use any of your spears you have five spears and your second skill uh, attacks three times so you are dealing eight attacks in one uh skill the second skill so you are hitting eight uh missiles i think five five magic spears and a uh, three crows so uh, that's the that's the animation for that and that's how it goes if we try it on the arena or RTA, it will deal 8 damage, so uh, 8 missiles, so you need to build her really uh, using your attack power and with monsters with attack power increase like Pran, you should build her towards that one. So when you attack on your turn all remaining spears will attack the enemy target together so in conjunction with the second skill this has a seven turn cool time so you need to land a lot of debuffs on the enemy so you will abuse her third skill and if you power up this one or skill up it will be a have a cooldown of five turns my rune choices for her are Violent and Will Will to protect you from initial debuffs and stun and you will not be CC'd by the enemy. So Will for RTA but for PBE, you can build her with uh, uh, Blade Runes for crit rate because you have 8 attacks so you did a lot of crit rate to hit crit damage on the enemies. So, these are my runes. And the slot 2 is speed. Speed is really good on her. You need speed. You need to uh, use your third skill as much as faster as you could. Because when using your third skill, you will not attack, guys. You are like a sitting duck on RTA. You will wait for uh, for your turn to attack or use your second skill. You will not uh, use your third skill to attack someone. But that's uh, why we are using violent runes. So that you will have a chance in RTA to attack once again once you use your third skill so violent i think is the really uh, uh, best rune for her in rta because additional attack really matters in rta and on her fourth slot 
I did use a crit damage. Crit damage is really good on her because you are hitting multiple times. Your magic spears, uh, you will hit the enemy 8 times with 3 crows and 5 magic spears. So there is a lot of chance for you to hit crit damage. That's why I use uh, crit damage on her and also I think you need some HP. She is really squishy Guys you have a substat of speed attack percentage defense. I think For some also, but I think accuracy you need that one In in replacement for defense because accuracy Is you really need that one because you are giving the buffs on the enemy so Accuracy is really needed on her and on her 6 slot, you need attack percentage so that you will hit the enemies really hard. So that's how I run her. These are the ones, first slot, third slot, and also the sixth, uh, fifth slot. So my artifacts that I use is all about attack plus attack 100, damage dealt by a counter attack, skill 1 crit damage, accuracy skill 3, actually you don't need that one, I think skill 1 accuracy should be, and crit damage on the uh, skill 2, yeah. Because your skill 2 is your attack uh, skill. So that's it. I just put 100 attack power so that we can we can maximize the attack power of her second skill. And another attack power. Single target skill crit damage plus 4 on your turn. This is really good. Because you're hitting monsters with single target. I think this is the uh, artifact substat that you will use and also attack proportional I think to speed because you are fast you need attack power proportional to speed I don't know if there is any artifact that has that one let's see maybe I'm wrong attack power yeah attack damage proportional to speed because if you have I think 200 speed then you are most likely having 50 additional attack power because the 50 percent a 200 50 percent then you have additional 100 damage according to your speed so that's I that's the way you need to build her. So her stats is plus eight thousand seven hundred HP, attack up one point one K, defense plus four hundred fifty seven, and speed up one hundred forty. But my accuracy is failing, so I will not use her in any of the debuffs i will not assume that i will hit the debuffs on my first skill but i will uh, i will assume that my team or the masters in the team will hit their debuffs and i will uh single-handedly uh, uh, try to kill the enemies with my second skill so that's the uh, strategy that I will use so let's now go on the RTA so let's now try Coco in RTA guys we will see how she will perform here in RTA and I wish she will not get banned so that I can show you her skills and how we she will uh, use her skills in RTA. So, Jin for immunity. Oh, for the provoke. 
that's how good Jin is. So we use Wusa for to help us um for the shielding and we will use some mat and Birdie Hill I think. Birdie Hill for the turn cycle. Yeah. Very most I think we need to ban Jin here. Because Jin is the threat. Oh a rich man did enter the Summoner's War game. So we will ban Jin. We will try to deal with the uh, light and dark monster. And now let's go and try out Coco's damage. Veremos is a counter, I think, for Coco. Because Coco is not that. You can abuse her second skill because of the harmful effects but her damage is not a bean lesson so only the cool time turn for her turn skill will be lessened because the harmful effects will be removed using Beremos passive so that's it we need to kill this uh, Lauren before she remove the shield of Coco. Oh, he goes for Fran to remove. Oh, she is killing Fran. So I think we need to kill Lauren here. Lauren is the threat. So let's try Coco's damage. Deleted Lauren. <laughs> she deletes Lauren. Oh no. Because Lauren is squishy, so I'm not surprised with that. I'm just happy that I did kill her. Uh, she has no HP, so she has no HP. She's not tanky enough to withstand the damage, so that's really good. So we need... Oh, no, I did misclick. I did hit crow. Crow? Kill this talisman. If I have that one, I will build it. <laughs> really good. I don't have any LED in this account. If I get one, then I'm the very happy Summoner Swarf player out there. Any LED not 5. So we did hit a Violent Proc. That's why Violent Proc is really good on Coco. For RTA, I think, because you will use your second skill instantly when you use your third skill and you violet proc. So that's good Coco in RTA with violet runes. So and will runes is the most important one because you will not use your skills. You will sleep all day long. If you didn't have any will runes. So now let's try again. That's the team that I am building. I'm building Fran for attack power. Shielding for Wusa. And uh, monsters with uh, that gives a debuffs on the enemy. So alright. I think we can use the triad here. Lauren, Birdie Hill, Crow out. Uh, Lauren Birdie Hill and Fran. So she is using the twins. I can ban one of that twins. So what's this? Alright, we will pick a speed lead, another speed lead, and Coco. So that we can uh, see if she is good. So we can ban. Yeah, I think we can ban Sigma Sigma Rosir. And he lets Coco in the battlefield in the arena. So let's go. We are first tier. Coco is 140 speed violent wheel. And she has no 
and the opponent has no speed lead so i think we can we are first here let's go how i think we i need a lot of good runes on coco yeah i need to farm more violent runes so we did let the twins they can kill us the twins well so we need to kill one first oh no we didn't kill one so we need to push back all right we need to push back one yeah that is really bad so when we deal this damage second skill the six cool time turn on the uh coco star skill will be lessened so now you see that the cooldown time turn on the third skill is around two because we did land our second skill on the enemy with the buffs so that's how good coco with the team with the buffs you need to partner her with a team that uses the buffs like lauren or raquel and Fran also have some debuffs, but the most uh, beneficial monsters would be those monsters with debuffs to lessen the cooldown time turn of her third skill. We didn't get violent proc. So like this one, she has three uh, harmful effects and we can have our third, uh, second skill uh lessen the cool time turn of the third skill up to three so that's how good her second skills in conjunction with her third skill and that's it guys that's how uh we uh test coco you did see her skills and her abilities in rta i think you should have more attack power because when you face on on at higher ranks the monsters there have high hp and they are using tanks so you can kill squishy monsters that's a pro on coco but she is not really good on uh high defense monsters because her damage relies on her attack power and also if the opponent has defense you need to set up set up coco before she can one hit enemies and deals her damage his her spears effectively so that's the way to build coco and yeah so please guys do subscribe to my channel that would be a great help in the youtube algorithm so See you in the next video, guys. Peace.